Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to change the widget colour on macOS. Following this process will allow you to change the colour of your widget among other settings depending on different situations that is happening on your Mac. It's a pretty simple process so let's get straight into it. Alright, so for this process, all you have to do is open up system settings and then you're going to scroll down until you get to desktop and dock. You're going to click on that and then you're going to scroll down until you see the widgets area. So here we are here, you can see it says widgets as the subheading. And here we've got widget style and this is where you can change the color. So um, you can click on the drop down here and by default it's on automatic, which essentially means that when you're in any application, they go monochrome or sort of black and white and blend into your wallpaper. But when you're on the desktop, they'll go full color and you'll see them um, in all of their normal full color like on iOS. However, what you can do is you can change that. So you can change them to be monochrome at all times. So that means when I even click onto the desktop, they'll still be that monochrome uh, texture that blends into your wallpaper. So it'll be like that all, at all times. Or you can change it to be full color at all times, which means even when I'm in an application, they'll always be full color um, like they are on the iPhone and iPad. So um, you can have full color like iOS devices, monochrome at all times, or automatic, which is what it's on by default. When you're in these settings, you can also change when the widgets are shown. So they can be whether they show on the desktop or um, in stage manager or in both um, so you can change that and you can also change whether you use iPhone widgets and you can turn that on or off if you would like to so yeah that's all there is to changing the color of your widgets among some other settings on your macOS device hopefully this video was helpful and you've had some great success in customizing some of these settings to make it work better for your personal workflow and with that, thanks for watching this video on Unpacked Technologies. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other video suggestions for me because I'm more than happy to make those if you would like to see them. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.